cancer now. So this is the patient I was telling you about. This young gentleman has been having these headaches that he's been getting for the past few weeks. So I just wanted to show you the examination, see, see what you thought. Sure. You know, these headaches, do they sound more neurological or do you think it could be related to the ocular surface? To me, it sounds more ocular surface, but just wanted to double check of the discs to see what you think. Of course, yeah. Well, let's have a look at the cornea and the lid and the lashes and see what's going on. Okay. Oh, he does have a bit of blepharitis there. Yeah. Cornea looks nice and clear there. I suppose we might need to put some fluorescein in and just check that. Okay, so let me just pop some fluorescein in then. Sure. Do you mind if I put some fluorescein in? So just going to stay in the surface of the eye, okay? So look upwards for me. Maybe a bit of a slightly dry ocular surface there, but it's nothing too crazy. No. Definitely some blepharitis changes. Mm -hmm. I think somebody will need to do some lid hygiene. Okay. And now Should that we have a look at the back? Right? Yeah, okay. I mean, it is a small pupil, but hopefully we should still be able to have a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's a really clear view there. That nerve looks quite healthy with clear margins. Mm -hmm. Maybe it looks like some drew some changes, but it definitely doesn't look swollen. No. What do you think? No, I'm happy. That looks like it's got good, clear margins. And there's no obvious okay. swelling there. So I'm happy. Thank you. I think you're right. I think it is more likely to just be ocular surface rather than anything, you know, nasty going on. So that's been really helpful. To make a model for corneal foreign body removal, paint a grate with glitter nail varnish or glitter glue and allow it to dry. Mount it on the slip lamp and if you can use a model head this makes it more realistic. Use a 21 gauge green needle bent at the tip to lift off a superficial foreign body. Or use a burr to remove deeper rust rings by gently touching the surface of the cornea over the rust. Spending time practicing this first means it's much easier with a patient.